As the crowning achievement of the construction of the Tynan Way Metro, and the core infrastructure binding its network of lines together, the underground metro tunnels move trains beneath the very centre of Newcastle and Gateshead. But if for some strange reason you were to poke your head over the platform edge and look more closely at the tunnels themselves, you might notice a minor but unmistakable detail. The tunnels under Gateshead are a different shape to those in Newcastle. So let's find out why. It's true. Where the rail tunnels through central Newcastle stations like Monument and Haymarket are the classic, almost circular tube shape, the short stretch of tunnels south of the River Tyne in Gateshead are quite clearly more of an arch. This can be put down to the geological makeup of the ground beneath our feet. Like many cities, the earth is made up of very different materials on either side of the river which required slightly different approaches when it came to constructing tunnels. Under Newcastle, the ground at tunnel level consists mostly of a hard sediment known as boulder clay, which is well suited to the standard tunnel bore techniques using mechanical excavation behind a tunnelling shield, where the perfectly cylindrical tunnel is reinforced with iron or concrete support segments as it's dug. Though a new level floor is added in to carry the rail tracks, it's still easy to see the distinctive circular shape today. But back in the 70s, Gateshead was an entirely different beast. The ground here is made up of mostly relatively soft sandstone, making it easier to dig through but conversely less stable at the same time. But on top of that, the proposed route of the metro crossed through a number of historic coal mine excavations and untapped seams that needed to be filled in as construction progressed. This was much slower and more meticulous work, and all in all, the geological situation called for a different shape of tunnel. Ancient architects figured out that an arch is one of the strongest load-bearing shapes, and the same principle applies here, amongst less solid ground conditions. And there you have it. It's probably not something you would ever have noticed ordinarily, but that's why the metro tunnels under Newcastle and Gateshead are different shapes entirely. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see us make more content looking at the quirks and history of the metro, it would help massively if you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.